G'day. If you're anything like me, you love to chase diamonds and rares within Call of the Wild. Not only do I like to hunt these top tier animals myself, but I do love to see others do the exact same thing. The only problem is that we often see the final result of what we know to be hours, if not days, of grinding. This is both in the form of videos where YouTubers are taking down their biggest animals, or in pictures of harvest screens on Facebook or even Reddit. We always miss out on seeing the lower scoring animals, the females passed up, and of course, the troll animal. Today, we are going to encounter a few of them. We are going to work our way up from the lowest scoring animals of a species to ultimately a very gorgeous diamond. Welcome to Diamond from Dust, Episode 1, Roosevelt Elk. Here we are, boots on the ground in Leighton Lakes, and we are after some Roosevelt Elk. Here in our Diamonds from Dust Challenge, we are looking at the lowest level of a species and making our way all the way up to that diamond and sometimes great one scoring animal. Today, we are targeting Roosevelt Elk. So we need to find a level one female to get us started and hopefully finish off on that level five diamond male elk, which look absolutely amazing. So fingers crossed we're able to get there and I will be back with you after shooting a level one female Roosevelt Elk. There is something here that is not an elk. That was a deer, that was a deer. But I can hear a warning call from a male Roosevelt elk over here. Okay, okay, let's see if we can get sights on them. What is this? Level two. I mean, I know to come back to this area and find it again. I think we might be onto something around here though, because I've definitely seen them at this lake before. Hopefully they're still around. Ah, finally we find some elk. That took way too long. All right, we're gonna get this one up here. I think that was a good shot. Shouldn't go too far. Somewhere up there. Is it going to drop? Please drop soon. Please. She didn't go too far at all, which is really, really good. A nice flesh, right lung, liver, stomach shot. Again, no score on this animal, but we expect that from a level one trivial. Now we make our way up to a level two, which means a male. Let's get to it. Now, if this elk looks familiar, and this, so does this scenery, I found this at the start of the video. So I thought I'd come back to this spot make it easier for myself and get myself that level two knocked off real, real quick. I think that's a hit. For those of you who are wondering, I am using the 308 Moonlight to take out all of these elk. I think it's a really good weapon. I'm really enjoying it. I am using the polymer tip rounds and so far, I'm very, very happy with it. Obviously using the Hyperion scope as well, the best scope in the game. But yeah, so that's what I'm using. 308 Moonlight, Polymer tip rounds with the Hyperion scope. Oh, now this to me looks like I definitely chose the right weapon for the job. Vital organ hit right now or just now. That is what we like to see. Now let's follow this track up and hopefully find our level two Roosevelt elk. This guy did not go far at all. Did not go far at all. Maybe 20 meters. A very nice rack on that. If I shot one of those in real life, I'd actually be stoked to be honest. It's not huge, but bigger than anything I've seen. So that's awesome. Level two. We are now into silver. We actually jumped bronze, which I'm happy about. Awesome. Now I'm expecting the difficulty to sort of rise a little bit because now we have to find a level three elk. Hopefully it doesn't take me too long to find, but once it's level three, again, I have to get to level four and then finally that level five. Oh my days. All right, well, let's see how we go. If this video is out and you're watching it, it probably means that I got the diamond. Man, this is going to be a lot of time on my end, isn't it? Yeah. Of course I do. Oh wait, there's a level three there as well. Ooh, well in this case, maybe I can get the level four and the level three. Shoot one, wait a bit, shoot the other one. What we might do is I might shoot the level three and they do tend to come back after a little while. So let's shoot the level three and hang out and then wait for the level four to show his face again. So this should do the job here. And now it's just a waiting game for the level four. Ooh, okay, there's a level four right there. I have just readjusted. We were up on that hill and now I'm down here on the riverbank or the lake bank or... Anyway, I might try to go for a heart shot as it lifts its head. Yeah, that's an option. All right, let's go for it. If it ever lifts its head, that is. That is a lot of drinking. Maybe I'll go for a spine shot. I mean, yeah, spine shots work. Spine slash neck. Oh, they definitely work when I do it. Oh my, that was perfect. Awesome. All right, well, let's go get this level three and then let's go pick up that level four. Another silver. Didn't make gold. Wow. It didn't make gold. 263.5. Not too far off. 
but the level three we can tick that bad boy off and the level four is over here somewhere well hello yes hi i'm not scared of either of you i mean I, uh, anyway all you hello bye see ya i don't want yep don't need you all you all right where is it here it is it was a great shot a great looking rack as well oh level fours just look so cool all right let's uh let's let's have a look at this guy a gold 299.1 well off diamond but a really really cool animal and i actually got the spine and the heart that is a great shot so it goes to show that the uh 308 is very capable of taking out class 8 animals like the roosevelt elk wow whoa i mean i can't pass that up can i wait i know we're doing this challenge but i'd be silly to pass that up right i would be i'd be completely dumb um yeah well okay oh bad shot bad shot bad shot i mean we can put as many bullets as we want into it right because it's not a okay well that thing's gonna drop at some point it might be like in the next business week or something but it will drop okay so seeing a rare animal like that is really 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 lucky um but you know what else would be really lucky if i got your subscription because i bet you didn't know that 95 percent of people who watch my videos aren't actually subscribed so if you want to help lower that number and raise my sub count please consider hitting that subscribe button for more call of the wild and hunting content just like this one i'm sorry about that plug i had to throw it in at some point yeah my bad <laughs> hopefully this thing is dead and i can show you a really nice piebald moose to make up for it is that her no way i think we found her no way she actually came back she has she's there drinking or eating or something all my day somewhere about there somewhere about there i am just over the moon that we actually found her again yes you can just make out that that is a piebald moose if she didn't make a noise i would have given up on her let's get it oh my days yes there she is oh my gosh yes finally redemption yes i can see her i can see her oh thank you i was seriously ready to like give up and then all of a sudden she let out a mating call. That was the biggest mistake she could have made. Oh my gosh. Now I did have to reset the time. I did reset the time. I actually reset my game because I know she was there. I know how the animals work in this game. That's a broadside shot that we can take and actually hit a lung. So that is why she is back to 75 to 100% health in case you're wondering. But let's take this shot and get it over and done with. Oh my days. Finally, that should be a lung shot right there. We are very happy with that. And we'll throw in a second lung shot just for good measure. She shouldn't go that much further. Hopefully she drops in a second. She looks so cool though. So cool. Is she going to eventually drop? I I, come on. There we go. Yes. We have a piebald moose, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, finally. So in case you were wondering, those first shots that I took, they were obviously educational and just showing you what you're not supposed to do when you find a really cool animal like this. But my, oh my, does she look good. So, there you go. We got the left lung and the right lung. She looks so cool. A piebald female moose. Thank you very, very, very much. I will be right back with a level 5 Roosevelt elk. Oh, we've got some elk over here. What are we Whoa. Whoa! Yes! Level 5 elk! Yes! Hopefully, that is the diamond that we are after. Oh my days! Yes! Oh, I'm so excited. Let's get a closer look. He actually looks amazing from here. I mean, I can't wait to get a closer look, get a little bit of broadside, and take a great shot, unlike we did on that moose for the first time. Finally, we have a level 5 elk. There he is. He's hanging out with a level three, a level two, and what is that there? I don't know. It looks tiny. That's a level three, and that's a level two. What is that? A level one Roosevelt elk. That is almost just as rare as this <laughs> level five. Oh my goodness. It looks like his antlers are a bit wonky as well. That's fine, as long as he makes diamond. But there we go. I think we're set up for a good shot. I'm ready to take it. Hopefully, you're ready to watch it. And it's done. And it's dropped. Oh, 
Oh my god. Now, when I tell you I have chills, I have literal chills. Elk are my favorite animal in this game. Whether it's Roosevelt or Rocky Mountain, I don't care. They're both awesome. But holy. Oh my goodness. Think it, this thing's huge and I'm kind of speechless. And actually, looking at the antlers, they look like they're almost symmetrical. Almost symmetrical, if not. I think they are. That thing is huge. Oh my God. Let's have a look. What the heck? Max weight as well? 414 scoring? This thing is huge. This thing is absolutely huge. Oh my goodness. That is insane. Perfectly symmetrical with a total score of 414.11. That is a diamond for the ages. So over here, we've got our diamond black tail, but it's got nothing on this guy, this Roosevelt elk. All these other animals are from my old account, which we don't look at because it doesn't count. 414.11 scoring. Oh my gosh. This thing is absolutely huge. I've seen 413s, but I've never seen a 414. Is this a world record? Surely not. If anyone knows, please in the comments below, but I think we might be close to a world record Roosevelt elk. And if they get bigger than that, well, just how big can they get? I guess thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>